So we started having an issue with that. And I was like, okay, well, here's the thing. It's obvious you don't trust me enough to let me rock out and do what I'm doing. Well, I just fit and she said, it's, not, it's just that you're not making time. You know, when I, I want to come over, I want to hang out. So I told her, well, just come over one day while I'm doing a podcast and you can sit in the other room and just wait for me to finish. She thought that was a joke, which it kind of was. I was being sarcastic. But <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, what, what, what else was she going to do? What else was she going to do? I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you got to let people in your workspace to kind of see what it's like to be in a day of faux profits or, you know, uh, Veronica Ariel. You know what I mean? Like sometimes people have to see that your day is crazy. And then I got a roommate whose schedule is just as crazy. And sometimes she might be in a jam and might need some help. And likewise, so then that kind of changes the dynamic of things. You know what I'm saying? So if I was scheduled to leave, if I say in my mind, I'm going to call it a night at six o'clock. But my home, my um, my studio mate, who's also my friend, a really good friend, is in here struggling or have need some help. I'm not going to just leave her stranded. You know what I mean? So then that might take two hours of sacrifice to, to help out. Absolutely. You know? So you just don't know. Like, every day is something different. And people think that, you know, making clothes is so easy. It's not like a struggle or I don't know. It's like an artist. Um, when we struggle, we struggle different and it affects our creativity and our work. So when we hit rock bottom, like mentally and creatively, it'd be hard. You know what I'm saying? So some days you got to force yourself to do the work and it what? might take longer. Would it help if a person was more accommodating and they just showed up with dinner or a bite to eat if they came by the studio? And you know what? I wouldn't even mind that either. Like, there was a guy that wanted to kind of like, that had been pursuing me for a while. And I would always be like, you know, I'm not, I'm not playing around. Like I'm not, I guess in a sense you do make time for who you want to make time for. But I'm also in a sense of, if you really want to see me, then you can come to the studio and see me. Like, I'm always here. If I ain't nowhere else, I'm always the studio, for sure. You know? And he would never come. He came, like, twice. And he would never come. And I'd be like, yo, you're more than welcome to pull up and come chill. Bring a drink if you want to. Bring food. You know what I mean? Don't don't come in here empty-handed, but bring something. If you want to come, if you want to see me that bad, then come to the studio. And I'd be yeah. like, yo, okay, yeah, cool, come to the studio. And then he wouldn't come. So I'm just like, you know, it's whatever. But the so, other part is that there's a realization for you that this is your money maker. So there is no time put into playing around. Like you're dedicated to your craft. This is not a, just a hobby. This is how you make money. This is how you feed yourself. This is how you help other people. This is how you save, uh, not save, this is how you invest money into other things, right? So. Right. I would think people would be more understanding of you more than they would of me, but I guess not because they go, well, you work. Like, why do you need to do a podcast? It's like, well, because I want to do it and I've, yeah. been having, I've been having fun doing it and I'm enjoying it. So why should I not do it? 